Today on Walk Through Texas History, we're going to look at the life of Mirabeau Lamar, Texas' second president. Join me as we walk back through Texas history. This statue was placed here in 1939, and on each side of it, it's got something different. In the front, it says Lamar. On this side, we're seeing closest to us, says Diplomacy. On the other side, it says Education. And on the back side, it says Law. It sits right here on US 90 in front of the Fort Bend County Courthouse. We'll look at the size real quickly. Here's the back corner with law and diplomacy. And here's the other corner with education and law. And then you can see the sculptor's name on the back of the bronze statue. Now at the Mirabeau Lamar Homestead Park and Archaeological Reserve. This is actually where he was, uh, his house was. It's a marker just around the corner here. We'll go see it. But uh, it's actually at this park. He's, his house is right off the Brazos. Just on the other side here. Kind of shows you where his, uh, his house was. The marker is right there and you can see the house being not too far away. There's the cistern. Let's go take a look now at the uh, marker. Here's actually the site of Fort Bend. Built in 1821. And this is the name given to the county. This historical marker is uh, just really close to Lamar's. Right around the corner here. Let's go look at it now. Here's actually another beside the, the state marker there. This little marker down by the county. I thought this was pretty cool. Uh, some of the uh, artifacts they found here on this site. Lamar's home. Pretty interesting. Here's a little marker of Lamar's last years in Richmond. 54 when he retired it says. And here's the marker for the site of uh, Mirabeau Lamar. Other than being a little dirty, and I just talked to a gentleman who said they're going to be cleaning it pretty soon. It's actually in very good shape. There's no chips or missing medallions. It just needs to be cleaned. But this was the uh, side of his house. Pretty interesting. I thought it was pretty cool. Let's go over to his uh, final resting place now. Rebecca Lamar. She was the mother of Mirabeau Lamar. I found it interesting. She actually was Lamar by birth. It's her maiden name. Her husband and her were first cousins. We're now in Morton Cemetery at the final resting place of Mirabeau Bonaparte Lamar and his second wife, Henrietta Lamar. Lamar was born in 18, I'm sorry, 1798 and died in 1859. He came to Texas from Georgia after his first wife and daughter had passed away. As we talked about earlier, his mother was also a Lamar. 
and his mother's buried in Houston at Founder Cemetery, as we saw. Lamar's term as president was tumultuous because him and Sam Houston really were at odds with each other. But Lamar had two major things he did really well for the state. Uh, he established the Homestead Act, and he also really pushed education for the state. His other big achievement was having the capital be in Austin. It was at, actually Waterloo is what the town was when Lamar set aside the land for it to become Austin. Let's get a closer look at his headstone, his wife headstone. Actually right in front of Lamar's final resting spot is this star celebrating the fact he was a member of the original uh, Republic of Texas. And he was also a Mason, as you can see there. And there's his wife's headstone. And of course, there's Texas flag right here. Behind, on the back side of uh, Lamar's large headstone is a family crest. And then there's the back side of his wife's. Lamar will be known as the second president of Texas, but how he got here was very, very unusual to me. After his wife and his daughter had died, he came to Texas not long after the Alamo had fallen. And he joined the army, was just a private, and he saved Rusk's, Thomas Rusk's life. At that point, he was given a promotion in the army, and he made a name for himself at San Jacinto, and then got involved in Texas politics. And of course, we know, like I said, he was the second president. He served the public for, for most of his life. One of his biggest uh, issues people have with him was his defiance against Houston and the Native Americans and the treaties that Houston had set forth. You know, I've, I've got mixed feelings on it. I've always thought that he was bad in doing so, and I still think he was at the time, but he did a lot of other great things for the state and the young republic. And there's a lot of things he did bad, but it's hard when you're a young republic trying to establish itself with so much land. He left a legacy that no doubt people will remember him for. Lots of schools named for him. University of Lamar University. Several high schools. Obviously lots of, of other things. There's a ton of historical artifacts and historical markers for him and after him here in the state. Well folks, we'll end it here today. I gave you a brief glimpse into Lamar's life here in Richmond and his final resting place and his lasting legacy. Do some more research on your own, see what you can learn. I mean, he was the second president of your state of Texas. I hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook. And until next time, have a good one.